electronic lock here. The system is a bit more... Oh. Damn! Well, we must do it anyway. At least we must try. Get in. Why is there a fire here? Was it a cleaning lady? Probably. She wouldn't be here at night. Nothing to worry about. Did you manage to open it? Good. But, are you sure that you want to go in there? Sometimes, ignorance is bliss. Well then, let's take a walk. You already know the drill. Someone will come, and this someone will try to kill you. The question is, who's it gonna be? Don't think about what you saw. Just look away and ignore it. You always did that very well. You know, there comes a moment in life when you just feel trapped. And when it seems that there's nowhere to go, you'll take any way out. in this house. Why am I returning to it? You probably thought a lot about it. Or maybe the opposite. You tried not to think about it at all. Calm down. You've already killed them. Keep going. I've prepared a small surprise just for you. You haven't been here for a long time, haven't you? Every new job began with this car. What were you thinking when you went to that house? Was it, 
I'm doing this for my family. Or, this is the last one for sure. Well, you were right about that. Well, for their sake. Your favorite thought, huh? They never asked you for this, but you were so sure that you stole only because of them. And Adrenaline Rush has nothing to do with it. There's only one thing you need to do before you leave. Let's check how well you remember things. Open the fuse box and cut the blue wire. It was the easiest thing ever. You only had to cut the blue wire. Do you really want to return to your family? Well, maybe you'll find a normal job. Eight hours a day, six days a week. You'll be reliable, consistent. Boring. <laughs> no. You've always thought that you were too good for a regular job. I understand. You want to stay with your family. If you decide to abandon the job, I can't stop you. Just leave the earpiece and go. You won't hear about me anymore. Sorry, I was joking. It looks like this house has changed. Now it's mine. What kind of place is it? Have you died or just went crazy in prison? It couldn't be your fault, right? You can't be wrong. The blue wire wasn't here in the first place. Or maybe you had a partner who gave you the wrong instructions. It couldn't be your fault. You are a good person after all. It's just cold. Police informed that the suspect in the arson of the home in East London has been detained. It turned out to be a 23-year-old native of London by the name of... The attempted robbery has ended in tragedy when the failed thief tried to turn off the alarm and caused a fire. The resulting fire led to the death of a family of three. Married couple and a child were burnt alive due to the selfish actions of the detainee. The suspect claims that he is not guilty since he didn't know about the presence of the people in the home. After all... It's never his fault. Is it? It's amazing what only a few sparks are capable of. Don't be afraid. It wasn't really your fault. 
After all, who knows who these people were? Killers, abusers, monsters. Come on, come on with another reason why they should have died. You did it so well before. Let me give you a hint. Who is to blame? What are you imagining in your stories? The husband is guilty in the death of his wife. The wife killed her child. And the child is... I don't know. He was a monster and killed both of them. Let's see if it fits. Acceptance. I didn't expect this to happen. I didn't think we had to say goodbye, but... Farewell. It's a pity that acceptance cannot fix the past. You know you killed them, and you will remember this. No matter what you will imagine next, we will be together. Forever. This demon thing wasn't too much. Was it a good ending? There is no time. I need to leave it as it is. Since when did I start talking to myself? I can't take it anymore. I need to get distracted. Lately, I can't get my childhood out of my head. I don't know why. <laughs> My father took care of this. Director of the... Factory. Very powerful person. He had big plans. And some of them were on me. But first, I had some daily schedule to do. You must wake up at five, then homework, then school. And in the evening... The real work.
Every day was a preparation for the future. I had goals. At age 14, a junior assistant in the sorting floor. At 15, a senior assistant. Head of the floor at 24. Replacement for my father at 31. There is no time for doubts. I would do everything for him. Every day. I hated it. I had no one to talk to. I had no idea how. Nowhere to go, and because of that, again and again. But I found a way out. At first, it didn't work out very well. Stupid stories. It's too embarrassing to even think about them. But they gave me the distraction then. Letter from the publisher. An opportunity to leave. And at 18? On my birthday, I decided to do it. Father was furious. He locked me up. He used his educational methods stronger than usual. But it's all in the past. I was able to leave, and that's what really matters. I left all this behind. And a special girl. That's what's important. We have a wonderful baby. And we lived happily ever after. Until... We tried as best we could. It was all for nothing. Bills for treatment grew every month. My novel started to get rejected, and in time, our money ran out. I got a second job, then started another one. That wasn't enough. But we had a chance. Is he all right? The doctor says that he's stable. Good. Good. Have you taken a nap yet? I didn't have time. The operation just ended. How are you? Work. Uh, the part with the maniac is ready. I will write it in time. Can we get another loan? We are already in debt. They won't give us any more. I just need to finish it and... You can call your father. Mateen, you know we shouldn't do that. I've already spoken to him. He has plans for me, and now he has plans for Oliver. He- he will break him! He is a monster! Aiden, I don't care who he is. 
I don't care even if he has horns in his tail. We're talking about our son right now. <sighs> Listen, if he gives us money, then we won't be able to leave him. Never. No, I... I will sell the book, and we will solve everything. Aiden, your last work is still in your desk, along with the previous one. How do you know that they'll buy this book? This is all that I have. I promise you, this is my best work. I just need to finish it and everything will be okay. Do you believe me? <sighs> One month, Aiden. Then, we'll call your father. I can handle it. I promise. Just say that you believe me and I will do everything. One month. Aiden, are you okay? We need to talk. No, no, no. I just need to proofread this thing. A bit more time, maybe a week, or... More than a month has passed, and... I just need a little more time. The ending is done. I just need to polish it, and... Oliver will have his operation. He will be free. Nadine will never understand me. We will have to break up, but... Is it worth it? More th I will leave it all behind. I can work with my father. We can come up with something together. But if only I had a couple more days. She will not believe me. Even if I try to persuade her, it's either I'm finishing the book. I'm sorry. I get it, Aiden. I really do. Finish your book. I hope you'll be okay. Goodbye.